Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today, obviously, we're back in Sorobia Garden here in the Chamonix State Park, and uh, I have a couple of announcements to make. So, firstly, the GoFundMe account that was made for uh, raising the funds for the garden here is now, it's now done. Uh, I have shut it off for now. Uh, the other volunteers may make another one. Uh, I, I may give them the login information to continue on that one should they need other funds. However, the, the big announcement, and, and don't be sad about this because there's a good reason. The big announcement is that I am no longer a volunteer here. So uh, the, the other volunteers, uh, some time ago, we decided who should now become the lead volunteer. We've taken care of all that. Um, and uh, the reason for this, as I said, is a very good reason. I am actually an employee here. Now, some of you may know this. Some of you may have seen me here. Um, some of you may have just heard that I was working here. But yes, I am a, an official employee here at the Shamney State Park. So not only do I just take care of the garden now, I help take care of the entire park. This place is so, so beautiful. I love it. You all know I fell in love with this place the second I came in here from the very first video when I was looking for this garden and I didn't find it. But I, I just can't tell you how much pride I have in the fact that I help take care of this entire place. Granted, it's not just me. I'm sure every time people have come here, you've seen uh, all of us maintenance people going around on the different carts. There's the rangers, they take care of some things, but the maintenance team, we're, we're charged with pretty much cleaning up all the trash, which I've gotten multiple compliments from people over time about how well the park is kept up as far as the trash and everything goes. We try our best. My, my camera keeps turning on its own, so I'm sorry about that. We try our best to take care of this place. Like, like, I, I can't even begin to explain it. Like, even if we're driving by and we're en route to, to change out trash bags and stuff, there happens to be a little piece of trash on the side of the road. We will stop, we will get out, we will put it in our bucket, and we will move on. And we try our best to get every piece of trash that we can. Impossible to keep up on it because there are some people that do have a tendency to throw bottles or, or napkins or tissues or wh whatever the case may be. Um, so it's hard to keep perfect, but we do our best. And we, we do get a lot of compliments from a lot of the people that walk the trails every day. And uh, I know that when I was beginning as a volunteer here, I had mentioned that myself, like how well that the maintenance staff had, had kept up this place. And uh, it, it's just, it makes for a beautiful walk, whether you're coming to the garden or not. You could be walking the trails down by the river or over by Nishamini Creek, and it's just its just beautiful, and it's peaceful too, especially in the morning. Uh, early morning is is totally awesome. I can't even begin to tell you. you, you just There's no one around. You hear nothing but the birds chirping. Um, being here as the sun starts to rise, it's, it's a surreal experience. But mostly, that was the reason I wanted to make this video also because it's been 25 days since I made my last video and the reason for that is the same reason why I'm not a volunteer I've been working here and we've been working our butts off and I've on my days off I've been spending the time with my son and my girlfriend and uh, it just it gets a little tough to fit videos in there but I'm gonna do my best to rectify that and try to make other videos I'm gonna try to make another one actually today um, down the river a little bit, down by uh, Station Ave, Herringbone Road, or whatever you want to call it. The, the, the old river access, just down State Road from here. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to make another video, and uh, I'm going to put this one out today. So today is uh, Saturday, and then I will edit both videos, and then I'll put the other one out probably. I'll schedule it to go out tomorrow morning sometime. I will actually be here at work, so I won't you know, I won't be there to, to start it myself, so I'll just schedule it. But, uh, in any case, while we're here, let's just take a look around the garden. So, let me see. I think over here there's definitely some daffodils coming up. Something I noticed a long time ago, years and years ago, all along the Delaware. There's just, like, random daffodils that grow every year. And you can see them out there, the little green sprouts coming up there's some down that way there is even some in the park or i'm sorry in the garden as well 
Um, not too much has changed. Uh, the, the little pond here has been filled in with rocks. There's still water underneath, so this way, you know, the, the, the frogs and stuff like that still have a place to be. And they can get in inside on the sides and all that. So, no worries there. It was mainly filled in due to a safety concern. Um, because there, there have been often times where people will be here and they'll have their kids here. And the kids just run around, they have a good time. And they might walk along this wall, which isn't really advisable. Um, well, I mean, now they'll just, you know, fall on rocks, which is not good either. But still, um, it's it's better than them, like, accidentally hitting their head and being in the water. It's, I think the water was at least, like, a foot, foot and a half deep. Some, uh, some greenery is starting to happen here in the raised bed garden, the cold frame, whichever you choose to call it. And I'm not sure what is weeds and what is our flowers coming back. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that the nasturtiums that were on either side, they're probably not going to come back because traditionally they're, they're just annuals. So it's like one and done kind of thing. But we do have some, some flocks and milkweed and stuff like that in here. Cone flowers, as you can see the remnants from last year here. Um, and then the uh, cardinal flower over here it looks pretty dead but you know that should come back as well more cone flowers flocks the really exciting thing for me is you can see right here that greenery right there that would be the columbines coming back and it almost looks like the seeds had spread a little bit not sure if they're definitely columbine down to the bottom right of the main plant because they are a different color so that may not be columbine we originally thought it might have been they uh, they still do want to fill this in with some with some soil get some flowers going in here and i think that'll look really nice that just hasn't come to pass yet but we got plenty of time we're not on a timetable here so, and I missed as I was walking by some of the daffodils growing that tree right there in the middle at the bottom. Some daffodils are coming up out of there. No flowers on them yet, but I did see some daffodils as I was uh, riding around in here that do have like little buds of flowers. Got some mulch all ready to go for the volunteers. Some daffodils growing around that tree. This one actually does have a little bud on it see it right there in the center of your screen so the flowers are coming spring is finally here and I would say that all the the lawn here is turning green but it never turned away from green really it got, it got a little brownish looking light brown but most of it has stayed green throughout the winter even with all that snow on top of it uh, the wisteria bush has not started budding yet and that's kind of concerning but it's still still really strong so it is alive so that'll start up really soon before you know it, you won't be able to see through this and I'm curious to see because there was tons of seed pods on this thing this past uh, summer and you could see them all through the fall and the winter when as the leaves fell off so I'm curious to see if more grows up out of here we do still I hope <laughs> we still have the flocks over here I think those little twigs right there I think that's what they are so hopefully that comes back hopefully everything we planted comes back because that would be great we had some ferns over here which you could still see some of them grow in there and some of them are brown some of them are green there should be plenty of them here as well and the two columbines over here they're starting to come back i see here's one and there's the other one so there's there's uh i think four columbines all together no there's three because the one the little one that was over here i think that died out but maybe it'll come back who knows We'll have to wait and see. And as for the hostas, 
no greenery happening here yet at least that we can tell i mean it's covered by leaves there could be little buds starting but they're definitely coming back they also as you might remember in my videos from last season they also had seed pods on them as well so i am assuming that this year they're going to be really really thick and i can't wait to see what happens with that and i'll get to see it because i'm here five days a week not that that's much different than when we first started digging out the paths here. I was here like five, six days a week. I didn't always make a video um, unless it was like monumental progress that was made. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been quite a trip. Just to go from somebody who found the garden and admired it to a volunteer and now an employee. Now here on the, this side of the mound where the hostas usually are, there's not a whole lot of leaves. Um, I don't see a whole lot of green happening that look like hostas, but I mean, any one of these things could be. Although I think these things here are just like weeds, that, that green there, but uh, they'll be back. They're gonna come back and they're gonna grow fast once they start. That much I remember from last season. Like once they started, it just, almost seemed like within a week they were they were huge chessboard everything's still fine um, we definitely could use to put some more grass seed down um, talk to the other volunteers and stuff and see see what we can do because some of it is it's a little patchy but for the most part they they all took very nicely very proud of, of everything that the other volunteers did and and uh harry downey who donated the grass for the squares um just very proud of everything that's happened with this place also uh i'll show you a new addition over here so <clears throat> this trail that goes out of the garden like just as a perspective there's the the end of the wall and this trail here, you'll see now, it's been widened and they laid stone down. And then it goes out to here. And this trail here, which has always, always been there, but it stopped at a certain point going down that way and just became like a little dirt path. Uh, that has also been widened and had stone put down and they named the path and there's, there's a sign for it up that way and a sign down this way. And we happen to be closer to down this way, so we'll take a walk. Now, as I showed in my, or I have shown, to use correct English, um, in my past videos, they, they were clearing all this out. Uh, the garden is right there behind us. And they were clearing all this area out of all the brush. Uh, there was another group of volunteers, college students, I believe, who helped out with this. And I made mention to the, uh, the head of maintenance that they were going to find a concrete slab in there somewhere. And that was only based off of a hand-drawn map that I'd seen at the Historical Society. And there it is. Have no idea what this was, what the intention was, but it was buried under all those weeds and crap soil. And now it's all cleaned off. Don't know what it was, but you can see it's all cleared out all the way down to the path down here. And the main reason I'm walking down here is to show the name of the new trail. Although it wasn't, as I said, it's not really new. Part of it was there. It was just thinner than it is now. And it did not have anywhere near as many stones. They've done a lot of work laying stones down on a lot of different paths around here. So we're coming up to uh, Buck Alley. But you'll see that not only is there a sign there that says Buck Alley, but there's a sign for the trail that we're on as well. And when I saw the name of this trail, I, I couldn't have been more proud, more happy. You ready for it? 
Logan Garden Trail. Now granted, yes, it was a garden that belonged to Logan and a lot of people refer to it as Logan Garden. We all know it's called Sorobia. It was part of their entire property. So that should be called Sorobia Garden Trail. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. I know that so many of you have come to see the garden since seeing my videos and people, you know, there was a buzz going around about it. So even if people didn't see my videos, they heard about it and have come by here and check it out. In fact, there was just a couple here who I was talking to who didn't really know anything about it. Like they said that they've seen it before, but they didn't know what it was. So of course I was there to inform and educate. I didn't go full into the deep details but just it, you know a little information and uh they really seem to enjoy that so they're going to be coming back to check it out as the plants and the flowers start to come back to life it's just still weird to see all this cleared out i mean i see it most days during the week now but it's still very strange even on this side of the garden, the back side here. Very weird to see a lot of that cleared out as well. But you know what? It makes the garden stand out more. And that's the important part. It, it makes it look nicer, more maintained. Before it had more of a hidden storybook fairy tale kind of feel, which was awesome. But uh, this is this is very cool as well. check on our man here He's still got a huge crater in the side of his face I don't know if that's ever gonna get fixed I hope I hope it can be that was part of the original plan but not sure how that's gonna pan out it's a garden waiting to spring up All right, so with that, we've seen a lot of things in here and I've made this video long enough. Uh, as per usual, I don't know exactly how long this video is gonna be after I get done editing it. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanna say thank you to everybody who has given to the, to the fundraiser for this garden. Every one of you are, are so far beyond awesome. And the volunteers, the park and the people that just come walking around here appreciate it beyond words so once again thank you to all of you also thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel last I checked I was up to 821 and a handful of them I've gotten in the last week or so I'm not sure where where you have come from like if you just you know happen to find me on YouTube and and you know you really like my videos and subscribed and for that I say thank you to you, but also to the rest of the 821 people who have subscribed to my channel. Hopefully that number will go up by the time you're watching this video. We shall see. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, head down to Station Ave. Go check out what's going on down there, make another video of that. That video will probably be out tomorrow, maybe Monday at latest. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go take the footage of that now. So as far as this video goes, once again, thank you all for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you'll be sure to be informed when I upload new videos. I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.